Hey guys, my name is Sierra, and when I travel, food is what I spend my money on. I just think it's amazing that we can discover new combinations of flavors that we didn't even know exist. James, I loved your story about wanting to save the tourist couple from the terrible tapas place and bring them on an experiential journey that would change everything for them. Because I feel the same way. My passion lies at the crossroads of cultural conservation and sustainable tourism. Today, I'm going to give you a little peek at a place I recently discovered with my friend Federico. It's a beautiful, unique example of both food traditions and culture in a way that doesn't really exist anymore. So I'm really excited to share it with you. Check it out. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Today, we are going on a tour of some bakeries here in Florence. My friend Federico. Bakeries, ice cream. <laughs> He's indulging my sweet tooth and I am here for it. Okay, let's go, Federico. We need, we need. <laughs> Dario here is the barista. He's been doing this since he was 12 years old. He's seen three generations of people come and go, and he watched my friend Federico grow up. It's authentic like I've never tasted. No additives, no colors, no new age machinery, just things done the good old fashioned way. But what's really special is how you can feel the history and community. A woman with a dog tattoo and her hair and curlers came by just to chat. Everyone entered with a big smile. The coffee isn't always quick, but it's served with a story, and I watched faces light up as they listened to Dario and for a moment let their daily grind melt away. We are with Dario. <laughs> Dario? <laughs> See? <laughs> the best barman in the world. Best. All'antica. Oggi non ho fatto nessuno perché non è meno. Bon. Mm. Very citrusy. Mm -hmm. Very fresh. Perfect for summer. But what's this? Huh? What's this? I cannot understand. <laughs> it's tea with um, peach, I think it's peach or strawberry, it's sorbetto. Peach. Made with peaches from his own tree. Wait. Very good. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I am so inspired by Devour's mission and mostly because it's mine as well. I feel so aligned and I've never felt so uniquely prepared um, to be the best person for the job. I actually just discovered this opportunity, found out the deadline is tomorrow and got right to it. So I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. And if nothing else, thank you guys so much for the beautiful work you're doing to combine tourism with the culture in a way that is beneficial for everybody. Thank you for your work and I look forward to hearing from you. Ciao.